A group of economists want a fourth stimulus check and a fifth stimulus check. We got stimulus check potential coming out of our ears. Also, Senator Hawley wants to see working parents get up to $12,000 in tax credits to help with raising kids and lifting millions out of poverty. The 2020 census will change the House of Representatives and who controls it. President Biden will address the nation today. Hello and welcome to today's April 28th uh, daily news, as well as ongoing stimulus check information. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. All right, now make sure to check out the video I did last night. I'll post it at the end of this video. I tell a story about a rooster that's guaranteed to make you laugh. So if you need a laugh, go check that out. Okay, now there's been a lot of talk about a fourth stimulus check. Uh, I've come across a group of economists and university leaders that have put forward a letter and a report that calls for President Biden to do a fourth stimulus check and then a fifth stimulus check, okay? Lots of stimulus checks. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, I haven't even got my second stimulus check or my third stimulus check. Why are we talking about four and five? Well, most of the country has received their checks. So we're forward, we're looking forward, right? Now, their study shows that unemployment and stimulus checks were the two greatest factors in keeping the economy from slipping into another Great Depression. The group is saying that another stimulus check would help tens of millions of Americans get back on their feet and get back to the path of normal living. They then said the fifth stimulus check could help lift as many as 12 million Americans out of poverty by allowing them to get caught up on their bills and have an emergency fund. These two things are hurting millions and millions of Americans. Now, states like California and Maryland have already done their own uh, smaller stimulus check within their state, uh, an interstate stimulus check, uh, $600 in the state of California and a $500 maximum per household in the state of Maryland. There's also been a few cities in New Mexico, Colorado, uh, Oregon that did smaller stimulus checks in their own little uh, city with uh, surplus tax money. Now, right now, there are over 70 people in Congress calling for a fourth stimulus check. Uh, this group that I just talked about, they haven't put a dollar amount on the fourth or fifth stimulus check, uh, but uh, the ones in Congress that I've told you about in previous videos, they want to see either 2000 down as a one-time payment or 2000 down and then $1,000 of recurring payments, okay? So there is a lot of call for action when it comes to doing more stimulus. Now, how they're going to pay for it, that, that's a different question. And I'll, I'll address some of Biden's Build Back Better plan and the American Family plan and how he believes that would be paid for. So stick, stick with me on this video, okay? Now, Republican Senator Josh Hawley from Missouri wants to see even more stimulus to help parents with young children. Uh, he will be circulating a new proposal to give $6,000 to single parents and $12,000 to married couples with children to help with schooling, clothing, uh, food stability, uh, and this would come in the form of a tax credit. Uh, he's wanting to call this the parent tax credit, uh, and it would be a tax credit. So as of right now, I don't see it being like a monthly recurring stimulus check like we're going to see with the $250 or $300 a month from July to December. This would be a tax credit. So you, you would have to file taxes, and then this would be a credit to offset your income. Uh, now, this one does have a cutoff age. Uh, at age 13, right? So he's saying, listen, once they're, once they're older than 13, uh, this tax credit would not uh, apply. Now, Senator Hawley said 
Starting a family and raising a family should not be a privilege only reserved for the wealthy. Millions of working people want to start a family and would like to care for their children at home, but current policies do not respect these preferences. American families should be supported no matter how they choose to care for the kids. Uh, I can definitely say that uh, raising kids is very expensive, but it's, it's also worthwhile. So this would be similar to the tax credit uh, that we're seeing right now, uh, but just a much higher amount and a lower age uh, uh, threshold. And uh, he wants to see this be something permanent going forward. Now, uh, Republican Senator Mitt Romney came out with something uh, a couple months back where he wanted to do uh, around five or six thousand dollars to American families that ended up making it into the 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus bill uh, as the 250 and 300 dollar a month uh, recurring payment to to families with children up to age 17. The new 2020 census is now complete. There are 329 million Americans living. Uh, in the United States borders uh, and territories. Because of shifting populations, seven states will be losing their House of Representatives seats and six will be picking up new seats. California, Illinois, Michigan, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia will each lose one seat in the House of Representatives. Texas, Colorado, Florida, Montana, North Carolina, and Oregon will all pick up a seat in the House of Representatives, and Texas will pick up two seats. So there is a big shift coming uh, just based on people moving uh, you know, from state to state. Uh, this is going to make the 2022 elections very interesting, as there were already dozens and dozens of toss-up seats uh, to fight for, but now with the, the census showing a shift, it's going to be even crazier, right? By the way, I just want to say thank you so much for giving these videos a like. You guys gave my last video over 30,000 likes. I just want to say thank you so much for that. Okay, now a recent survey conducted by Bankrate indicated that more than 6 in 10 adults admit the current stimulus payments won't sustain their financial well-being for more than three months, as most plan to allocate proceeds towards covering monthly bills daily necessities such as food and supplies, and covering outstanding debt. Now, that was 6 and 10, right? I'll bet you if you boiled it down, an even larger group were done with that money in less than a week, right? Like, maybe you could tell me in the comments, how long did your stimulus check last, right? Uh, so there's definitely uh, a desire now, now Congress just needs to see the evidence of where to direct that money, right? Later this evening, President Biden will be giving his State of the Union address before a joint session of Congress. Uh, according to sources, this is his chance to pitch the Build Back Better plan uh, and how it could create millions of jobs and improve America's infrastructure and water systems. President Biden will also pitch the American Family Plan, which is his social infrastructure plan to help seniors and those on Medicaid or living on less than $50,000 per year get better access to medical care, free community college, supplemented child care to bring that cost down so people can work, uh, federal family leave, universal health care, and better prescription medication prices. So there's, there's a lot going on, right? Now, I, I know, I already know what's going to come in the comments, right? People are going to complain about Josh Hawley's thing because they don't have kids. And, uh, other people are complaining, Hey, I don't have student loan debt, but I could use ten ten thousand dollars Um, I, I don't make any of these up. I'm just delivering the news. Uh, but as far as seniors go, uh, this social infrastructure bill is where we could see that $200 a month increase. For people on SSA benefits. Um, this could also be where we see uh, Medicaid come down to age 55, uh, lower prescription prices and better access to medical care. So that, that's a, a big one that the Biden, uh, that President Biden will be pitching later this evening. Now, Biden has said he is not going to try to revamp our medical or insurance world 
because he's already expanded the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Rather, he will seek to improve upon them. Many are hoping that he will reveal one or in one or both of the infrastructure bills a fourth stimulus check direct to the people, expansion of Medicare, and lowering of the age of Medicare. These are the big three that uh, many Democrats are hoping he will uh, discuss. Now, President Biden thinks that he can pay for the Build Back Better plan by raising the corporate tax from 21% up to 28%. That revenue over a 10 or 15 year period would pay off the $2.3 trillion that he wants to spend on upgrading America's infrastructure. He also believes that he can pay for the American Families Plan by strengthening the IRS and taxing wealthier families and wealthier corporations. He wants to see everyone pay their fair share of taxes. Now, Charles Reddig, the commissioner of the IRS, told the Senate Finance Committee that tax evasion, evading taxes, illegally not paying taxes, is costing the U.S. government around $1 trillion per year. Uh, he says the, the main culprits guilty of tax evasion are wealthy Americans and large corporations. So he, he's come out. This is the head of the IRS saying, uh, yeah, if we, if we got them all to pay what they should, uh, that's another trillion dollars coming into the federal government. Now, all Democrats are supporting President Biden's two infrastructure spending bills at this point, but progressive Democrats say this plan is too weak and doesn't go nearly far enough when it comes to helping the United States of America. The Secretary of State for the state of California announced that the petition to recall Governor Newsom has more than passed the threshold necessary. There will now be a mad dash of new candidates to see who can replace Governor Newsom. Well, a lot's going to be shared tonight from President Biden. Um, if I have time, I'll come on and give a summary um, and just kind of break it down. I know a lot of you don't want to sit around for two hours uh, and watch that. So I'll come on and try and do something in 10 minutes or less uh, to give you guys some kind of an update. Um, but this is my update for today. Lots going on with potential stimulus checks, um, helping our seniors, helping those on SSA benefits, uh, helping families with young children. Lots to discuss. Uh, and I appreciate you guys coming on. I hope you guys find value in the hours and hours of research that I do to, to bring you these broadcasts. Now, before you go, do make sure to register for the giveaway my wife and I are doing. There's going to be over $2,000 in prizes and cash given away. It's our way of saying thank you. Uh, before you go, I wish to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community. Go watch this video from last night about a funny rooster. I guarantee you it will make you laugh. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video.